Today I'm going to be doing a vlog on what I eat in a day. I am going to the gym and doing a really heavy leg day. I also don't track my macros. If you're wondering right now, I'm not tracking them. I'm tracked out for my bikini competition, even though that was like four months ago. But it was so much work, so like, I give it up to all you who compete, but yeah, I'm not tracking my macros right now, I'll be honest. But oh yeah, keep in mind that I am plant-based, so everything that I eat today is like, obviously dairy free no animals like I just I'm plant-based so I don't eat any of that so I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day so for breakfast I'm going to have a full bagel and I like to put a little bit of this special spread on it and so what's in the spread is basically just a scoop of minced garlic a scoop of this vegan mayo and then you season it with a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of onion powder and you mix it all up and there it is. And so I'm gonna put that on my bagel and I'm gonna cut up some um, cucumber and then just like have it as a little sandwich. I also eat a full avocado and I love avocado so much so I just kind of eat it with a spoon. So I did put a little bit of avocado oil in it, black pepper, pink Him Himalayan salt cause I'm fancy <laughs> and um, Louisiana hot sauce. That's the best hot sauce, by the way. So, yeah, I just eat it kind of like this, and yeah, there's my breakfast. So I ate my avocado, both halves, and here is my bagel. Just kidding, my bagel. Don't make fun of me when I say bagel. I'm from Minnesota, leave me alone. This is it. She's beautiful, isn't she? So there's the spread, and then I put cucumber on it, and I just do like so and eat her. And then I have my water because you need to drink water, stay hydrated. Gym time, gym time, gym time! So I also, I'm still hungry, so I decided to have a yogurt. And this is a coconut milk yogurt, and it's so, so good. You can get it at like any grocery store. Mostly, like I just know for sure it would be at Whole Foods though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just got back from the gym. Wow, look at that shiny forehead. <laughs> of course I have to have my blessed Protein, it is plant-based. It has 23 grams per scoop and I like chocolate coconut. It also comes in vanilla chai or salted caramel. So I'm gonna have a scoop of blessed protein. And I'm also going to make a Alfredo sauce. I make it homemade and I make it from cashews. Um, let me know if you want the recipe. So leave that in the comments if you want the recipe for my vegan Alfredo sauce. But I'm gonna pour it over these, I don't know, I think they're called no nochi. I don't know, but they're like potato balls and they're so good. And they're super easy to make. You just put them in boiling water and they're done within like five minutes. So that's gonna be what's for lunch. So what are you making, mother? I am making homemade cabbage vegetable soup. We're warming it up because we don't use the microwave anymore. No, ma'am. Because it's bad for you. Yes, it is. So we made this last night and it's so good. It's just cabbage soup. So I guess I'm gonna have a side of this too because why not? Vegetables. All veggies. So here's my vegan Alfredo and here are my gnocchi. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour that in there a little bit, see how much I need. Mix it on. <sighs> So excited to eat this. Well, that's good. So I had half of the package. I'm not sure how many calories this is and I really honestly don't care. I'm just excited to eat this. Five hours later. So I've just taken a shower. It's a little bit before dinner, um, but I'm gonna have a snack 
And this is actually from a snack from my app. And in my app, I have different meals that you can cook, different snacks, pretty much like a whole day set for you of your different meals. So this is something from my app. It's chia seed pudding and it's made with almond milk and chia seeds and then you put on fruit. Um, you just put blueberries and stuff in there too and bananas, but I don't have any of that right now. I made this chia seed pudding last night in the fridge. This is just gonna be a snack before dinner. I ate almost all of it. They just have like a bite left, but I don't have yeah. any fruit to go with it, so I don't want it. So I ate that and now it's time for dinner. So I'm making a vegan pad thai for dinner and we pretty much just like add all these ingredients. But guys, let me know in the comments if you want this recipe. Um, it's so good and these noodles are actually like pretty low in carbs because they're just like shiitake mushroom noodles. This is tempeh. We are frying it. Now that this is almost done, I put in the noodles and they only take like two minutes. Yeah, like two minutes to cook. Literally two minutes, that's it. So here is the finished project. <laughs> it's super good, it's super high in protein. There is tempeh and peanut butter and lots of mushrooms, like all of it has protein in it, so yeah. Rest in belly. <laughs> So I'm having one last snack for the night and it's banana ice cream. So what you do is you take bananas from the freezer and like honestly one is not enough. It just makes like a little tiny bit. So like I'm doing two and basically you like peel them. Um, I actually run them underwater first cause that's how you get like the skin to be a little bit softer. So peel them and then you put them, I put mine in my little ninja blender or if you have a blender, whatever. So peel them, pour a little bit of milk in there. Um, definitely not regular milk unless you're into that sort of thing, but I drink almond milk. And then, so just a little bit of that and then like I guess maybe a little bit of ice, but just see kind of like how it turns out. Just not too much milk, because you literally want it to be like ice cream, not like a, like a runny smoothie. So, and then I also put in a little bit of dairy-free chocolate chips because I want chocolate. So, yeah. <laughs> Woo, it's just me, myself, and I. Blender on up. Oakley doakley. So I've got my banana ice cream with some chocolate chips because I'm a G. And I'm really excited to eat this because it's so good. At last, my love is coming home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that is all for today. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of food. And yes, it is a lot of food because I'm always chasing the gain. So this video was just what I eat. Um, I'm not saying you should eat it because everyone's bodies are different. And yeah, this is just what I eat. You guys wanted to know what I eat. So I'm just kind of showing you what I've been doing lately. So yeah, that's about it. Again, I did not track any of it and that's okay with me. And you guys are probably wondering like where even was her protein? Like, so there was nine grams of protein in my bagel. There was 
a couple grams in my yogurt. When I came home, obviously I had my protein shake and my gnocchi. I'm sure there is protein in there um, because I use cashew based um, alfredo sauce. And um, you'd be surprised honestly at how much protein is actually in veggies. There is a lot of protein in my vegan pad thai. It was made with tempeh, so that has a lot of protein in it. There was peanut butter, like mushrooms, and the noodles. Yeah, I feel like people worry about protein a little bit too much and I'm vegan and I feel like I don't look like I'm missing any muscle or lacking in protein so I think that people just need to calm down a little bit. But that is all for today. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments and let me know if you want me to show you my vegan recipes. And also don't forget to subscribe to your girl because I'm posting videos every week, so don't miss out. Um, but yes, I will see you next week. Love you.